We're here today to sample for uh, mole crickets, and this looks like a likely pasture. It's all sort of chewed up. What do you think? I think this is the time of year. It's early October in western Duval County, and what we see is incomplete grass coverage, we see patches of bare ground, and we see here, for example, soft earth that we can compress with our feet. It looks as if it's been pushed up by mole crickets. Well, why don't we step over here and do some sampling and see if we can find some. Here is a two foot by two foot quadrat. Lucy has scraped away the surface, the grass from the surface, because the soil is a bit dry. Uh, what we're going to do, what she's going to do, is pour soapy water onto the surface. This irritates mole crickets that are in the ground and causes them to come to the surface to try to escape the soapy water. Go ahead, Lucy. How much soap is in the water? About a, a spoonful, a tablespoonful, roughly. In how much water? In a gallon of water. This is standard practice. It works very well when the soil is wet. When the soil is a bit drier as it is now, then scraping away the surface grass helps the soap, soapy water penetrate deeper into the ground. We should wait about two minutes before the last of the mole crickets comes to the surface. How many uh, would you collect to know you have a problem? If we take, let's say, a dozen samples in the field and the average number of mole crickets for one of these squares is four or more mole crickets, then we think we have a problem and uh, should do something about it. Anything much less than that, not really. It may not be worth the effort. What can the landowner do when they have a mole cricket problem? There are several things now, all of which are biological control methods, which we've developed, and it's taken quite a few years to do that. But the advantage of these methods is they're totally safe to the environment, no harm using them in a pasture where cattle or horses graze. What are some examples? Well, one of the examples is the application of a beneficial nematode which can be applied subsurface by a special machine pulled behind a tractor. The nematodes attack only pest mole crickets, nothing else, totally safe to the environment. First thing is contact your county livestock agent advise him of the problem, get advice, order a supply of the nematodes, order well in advance. It takes some time to get them here. They have to be applied at the appropriate time of year. And then the nematodes should be applied when there is good soil moisture. But the nematode, meanwhile, has to be stored at refrigerator temperatures, not freezer but refrigerator, kept cool, because it's a living organism. So your county extension livestock agent can help you with all of those different decisions and things they have to do to use the nematode. Exactly, exactly.